What's up, good people? What's up, good people? It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder, coming to you on this Finish Strong Friday. That's what we do on Fridays. We finish strong, and y'all know what we've been doing all this week. I want you to put in the comment section there, Finish Strong uh, if you can, put in the comment section, finish strong, because that's what we do on Friday. This way, um, we have that mindset going in. And y'all know what we've been dealing with the, all this week, the 12 forms of capital. We've dealt with political capital, social capital, human capital, intellectual capital, digital capital, financial capital, educational capital, community capital, mental capital, spiritual capital, cultural capital. And today... We're going to deal with physical capital. That's physical capital. And, and I'll start off saying it like this. Somebody's always got to be the heavy. Somebody's always got to be the heavy. Someone's always got to do the dirty work. Someone's always got to do the physical stuff that not everybody wants to do. It, it's it's dirty it's grimy, it's labor intense, it's all of those things, it's the physical work, that, that the physical capital that somebody brings in, and I'm sitting here thinking uh, about physical capital, and I'm thinking of a couple of things, and I'm thinking one, one that comes to mind, and it's a sports analogy, I'm sorry y'all, I, I know, you know, some of y'all might not be <coughs> sports uh, fanatics like I, like I am, but, um, but when I think about when I think about physical capital, I think of, of guys like Dennis Rodman. I, I think of guys like the the offensive line of of or defensive line of of football teams, basketball teams, Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman wasn't worried about scoring points. Dennis Rodman wasn't worried about um necessarily the assist. His thing was going and getting that ball all for the rebound, for the rebound. That was the dirty work. He was he was going to guard the toughest uh, forward in the game, and sometimes even the guards, sometimes even the guards, sometimes even the centers. You know, but he was usually he was usually shorter than the centers, so he really wasn't going to. But he was willing to do the dirty work. He was willing to do the physical work. Same thing with. With the with the in football, the offensive line, defensive line, them dudes do the dirty work. They are the physical capital. I don't care what we say. We can talk about the quarterbacks. We can talk about the linebackers. We can talk about the running backs. But the physical capital of a football team uh, are those offensive and defensive lines. What's up, Tanya? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, <laughs> uh, Miss Moore. Good morning. Good morning. We're talking about physical capital today the, the the last capital that I'm dealing with this week and our 12 forms of capital but it's that physical capital people that are willing to do the dirty work who's willing to do the dirty work in your organization who's willing to do the dirty work uh, as an entrepreneur are you willing to to do what it takes in order to be able to get that client are you willing to do what it takes in order to be able to to turn that customer into a client are you willing to do the physical work that needs to get done? The physical work that it takes in order to be able to finish strong. Those that finish strong, trust me, have no problem doing the, the, the dirty work, doing the physical work. I mentioned to you about Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman was was he was gonna go get it. He was that he was that one on the court. That was going to scrap. That was going. That was going to dive. That was going to do what needed to be done in order to be able to get that rebound. In order to be able to get the ball to give his team another possession. He was going to. He was going to outwork you on the court. He was going to be there all game long. So who's willing in your organization to be there all day? long are you are you willing to be there 
all day long and do what needs to get done in order to be able to accomplish your assignments. It's about the dirty work in 2023. That's the physical capital. Who brings that to the table? Do you bring that to the table? On this Finish Strong Friday, that's what I want you to think about. Are you willing to bring that physical capital to your business, to your organization? Like I said, we've been dealing with it. It's not just, it's not just the, the, uh, the entrepreneur or the business owner. It's also the, the, the manager. It's also the supervisor. It's also line-level employee. Are you willing to do the work, to do the, the dirty work, the physical work? I worked in the hospitality industry, and, and I was um, uh, the um, executive of uh, housekeeping the, the director. And, and I saw those ladies and, and some men, too. They did the dirty work. They did the physical capital. They were the fit. The, I, next time you go to a hotel, I want you to, to make sure that you tip those housekeepers well because they are, I promise you, they are the physical capital of the hospitality industry. No if, ands, or buts about it. To go in, come in every single day and to do that physical work, making sure sure that when you come to your room when you check into the hotel and you check into that room that that room is is spotless that it is cleaned that is made ready for you that's the physical labor that's the physical capital nobody's talking about that the physical capital yes making sure that that's done is the physical capital and I'm going to tell you too even even the, the the sanitation workers, that's physical capital. Because trust and believe, if that trash isn't picked up around your house, around your apartment, if there's nobody coming to get it, what you going to do? That's the physical capital. The people that grind day to day, that grind... Uh, uh, and make our lives, when we think about it, better. How are you making the the job that you do, the people that you are around, how are you making it better for them from a physical capital standpoint? Are you that heavy? Are, are you that person that's willing to, to stand on an arm in arm with with your colleagues that are willing to stand with your partner, your collaborate, whoever you're collaborating with, stand with them and do the work that needs to get done in order to be able to make that deal move forward. You've got to have them. If you're not that person, then you better make sure that you have that person on your team. And I'm not trying to get spiritual or anything on, on you all, but even Jesus had a heavy. He had that physical capital, and his name was Peter. Peter did not mess around. Anybody that came for Jesus, Peter was ready for him. He cut one dude's ear off because he came for Jesus. That's physical capital. Making sure that hey, you you come for you coming for for us. We gonna make sure you get dealt with. I'm gonna make sure that the work gets done. That needs to get done. If that means having to to let somebody go because the work isn't getting done by them, that's that's the person that has the physical capital. Look at all of the, if you look in the NFL and you look at all of the, the, the firings that have gone on with the head coaches, with the, uh, with, with the offensive coordinators. I don't know if there are too many defensive coordinators that have been let go. I've heard a lot of offensive coordinators have been let go. But somebody had to do that work. <laughs> somebody had to let 
them go. Have that conversation with them. That's physical capital. Being being a leader is 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 one of the characteristics to me is having that physical capital. Bringing physical capital to the table. You've got to be willing to to handle and deal with those tough situations. Are you willing to do that today? Are you willing to do that on a finish strong Friday? Are you willing to say, you know what, this this you you've we we appreciate the work that you've given to the to the company. We appreciate what you've done, but where we're trying to go, you're not able to get us there. The work that needs to be done, unfortunately, you aren't the person that's getting it done. So we've got to let you go. You aren't bringing the physical capital to our organization. You've got to be the one to handle that. That's what physical capital is. It's having the strength to do the things that everyone else isn't willing to do. Is that you? Is that you? Is that one of your characteristics? That what you bring to the table, you're willing to do what everybody else ain't willing to do? And and here's the thing, and, and I don't like it, but I guess it is probably an example of physical capital, is when the Dallas Cowboys years ago were being sold by the owner Tech Schramm. And, and I was a I was a diehard Cowboys fan before this. But Tech Schramm sold the Dallas Cowboys to now Jerry Jones. And the only reason he sold the Cowboys to Jerry Jones was because Jerry Jones was willing to fire Tom Landry. All of the other candidates that were looking to buy the Cowboys said they they could not, would not fire Tom Landry. That was that was physical capital. He was willing to do what everybody else wasn't. And he I believe the Cowboys lost some loyal fans when they did that. I was one of them. But but Jerry Jones was willing to do what somebody else wasn't willing to do. And as a result of that, he he his physical capital went up because of that. Because he was willing to do that. And 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 you have to have someone on your team that brings physical capital to the table. It, like I said, if you're not that one, you want to make sure that someone in your circle of impact brings that physical capital to the table. Because cause if not, they're going to come situations, circumstances, and times that you need physical capital. I don't care what entrepreneur you are or what business you have, what industry you're in. Even in your personal life. You need physical capital. You you always you always, you know and from a, a personal standpoint, you always had that one dude and and ladies. I'm sure you always had that that one that one female friend that you knew was crazy. You was like they they crazy as all outdoors, but you but you knew you needed to have them around in case something happened, in case something popped off. You needed them around because you knew they was gonna be able to handle that. That's that's the physical capital that 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 person brought to the team. I I promise you, I promise you. Growing up, my, me and my boy, we had we we had we had one or two of. It was just like yeah, he crazy, he crazy, crazy. but but he with us, so we know we we know we good. We know we know we all right. We gonna be all right. And our personal life, you got that one family member, you know, you get that one family member. If something happens, you know, you know, you can make a phone call. That's all I'm saying. You know what I mean? But but that's the physical capital that somebody brings to the table. I promise you. I promise you. It's in every single one of our families. It's, it's in our families. 
and, and if you don't think it's it's in your family, you might be that that person that that's the physical cap. If you feel if you know that somebody always calling you because they need you to handle something that don't nobody else want to handle, that's you. you. You bringing that physical capital to the table. So that that that, but you want to make sure that if you're not that person, because all of us don't, all of us aren't that you know the physical capital. That's not us. That's not necessarily us in personal life or in business. But you wanna you want to have those people that bring physical capital to your business or that are in your in your personal space too, in your personal life too. Be, because those those are people that can. That's what they contribute to to who it is, what it is that you all are doing. That's what we're doing on this on this on on this finish strong Friday. It's about the physical capital. It's about that that physicalness. That and, and physical is also a mindset too. We talked earlier about mental, but but part of that is is that the people who aren't afraid to handle situation circumstances and even people sometimes when it's necessary and not afraid to let people know they're gonna tell you the truth whether you like it or not. You might not even like the way that they said it to you. It might be true, but you might not like the way they said it to you. But they're going to give it to you. They're going to give it to you raw, uncut. They're going to let you know. You know, nah, that ain't it. So, think about that today on this Finish Strong Friday. Physical capital. Do I bring physical capital to the table? To my organization, to my business, and my personal life. Am I that person? Is that one of my traits? Is that one of my qualities? Or or do I have people around me that are that way, that have that particular capital that they bring to the table? And I promise because it'll balance you out. When you can understand these 12 forms of capital that I talked about today and, and you look at having uh, someone there uh, for you in this capacity, in this way, then you you certainly want to you can take a look at it and you can be be assured that 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 aspect will be covered and and even the other capitals that we talked about today you certainly want to um understand and know the part that you play and the part that those that are in your circle of impact play and what capital that they, that they bring and you just look at those capitals and, and you want to make sure if you have them in your space, if you don't have them in your space, then you want to make sure, hey, are there people in my ecosystem, whether it's your business ecosystem or your personal ecosystem, that bring that to the table? Because it's about making people better. I promise you, if you have these people in your space, you have these people that bring these 12 forms of capital in your space, You'll 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 be better. They'll be better because of what you bring to them, what they bring to you. And y'all know what we're about this year. We're about creating value. That's what we're doing this year in 2023. We create value. We create value in in ourselves, and we create value in others. We create our our value in our businesses, in our brands, and in, in whatever we do. And that's what these 12 forms of capital are about. It's about creating value. Creating value. So let's let's take this Finish Strong Friday and see how we create value from a physical capital standpoint. And identify it. Identify it, how it works for you in your business, your brand, and your personal life. It's your boy, Dr. Leroy McKenzie Jr., the Impact Builder. It's another week, y'all. It's another week. We're 20 days in already to 2023. So let's 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 do what we do. Y'all know my mission, my purpose is always to make you better by the end of the year than you were at the beginning of the year. Hopefully you're 20 days better already. I told you it's about getting 1% better every single day. So we're already 20% better than we were in 2022. So let's go. Let's finish Strong Friday. We'll talk to y'all on Monday. Have a great, great day and have an awesome weekend. We'll talk to y'all soon.